Uh, this is a hot open. We are playing some Factorio. These biters are also trying to play Factorio, and we'd rather they didn't, because uh, it's kind of expensive for us. Um, so yeah, episode 9, we're up to medium spitters already. Uh, now we really need to, to get those flamethrowers across the base. Um, in between, we, you know, we're handcrafting some stuff. We're handcrafting some underground pipes. Yeah, medium spitters bit of a problem. Uh, we want to come back here to grab power from somewhere uh, to get pump jacks on that oil so we can get some real defenses across the base because, oh hey, what are those guys doing? Are they going to intercept me? Quite possibly. Um, am I going to intercept them? Uh, yeah, medium, medium spitters, a bit of a problem. Uh, sure, that's probably better than them crashing into my turrets, uh, and I'm probably going to feel bad about, yeah, I'm definitely going to feel bad about just building poles diagonally across that space. We kind of, that was a nice open square space that we could have used for something later, had we not put all the power in the middle of it. Um, let's not even bother with that yet, let's just get pump jacks on places that aren't quite so you know, congested, and we don't need really that many of them at this point. We just need to get some oil um, into... Do we even need tanks? I mean, we've got tanks because we had tanks for power grid. We're just going to do this, and then we need to start... As long as as long as we get... Yeah, this is, this is going to keep happening. We are polluting all of these bases, so it's not even that we have a, a bit of time now. I think we want to go, like, just across here... This this whole stuff we can worry about later, whatever. Yeah, let's just let's just start putting some flamethrowers somewhere. Maybe we can use the walls we've got as well. I mean, okay, that's that's a silly thing to say. Um, let's actually get let's get some things on the hot bar to maybe make that easier. Um, yeah, not not like using the walls, but leveraging these cliffs. Uh, okay, we're gonna go forwards a little more because uh, let's not try and put the flamethrowers in the way of the cliffs. Let's try and have the flamethrowers um, to the extent that we can. Not blocked by the other cliffs because yeah, being a giant tick multiplier, we don't actually have uh, we don't have bots. We don't have cliff explosives. Um, I don't really, I don't even have all that many walls at the moment, so I would kind of rather not spend walls here doing this stuff. And I think we're just going to do this kind of little, in fact, whatever. If the biters get this far, then we're kind of already flanked. So whatever, just have a lot of gun turrets. And then some kind of, yeah, like I'm just planning on not getting attacked in this direction yet. Yeah, that setup is terrible. Um, we have range, that's fine, and then yeah, we just want a lot more flamethrowers, and hopefully we can get, yeah, hopefully we can get these walls back to the rest of the base uh, before we lose too much stuff, is going to be the, the goal. Actually, how far back what is that range we've got? 17? Okay, so that's a little that's a little far, whatever. Um, when we're setting this up in a more permanent way, we can do that differently. Um, but for now, let's just kind of lock this down. And um, let's actually get some of these things in here. Because not losing the base would be better than losing the base. Also, I should leave... We should definitely leave some kind of radar, like roughly here-ish. Uh, yeah, because we're going to want to keep eyes on this, and now we have to go all the way around, which is going to be a little bit of a pain. Um, okay, we're going to do... Are we going to change our mind on that? I don't think we are. I think we're just going to have another one of these here, and then just start dragging... Yeah, having to go all the way around. Should we have gone the other way? Maybe. We've got to pull down the walls. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will give us a defensive pattern that will work a little bit against the medium biters. Um, probably not as well as we need it to. Um, 15, yeah, it's it's at about the right spot. And then I think also because of the... Um, okay, or whatever. We're going to tidy this up later, maybe. Um, 
Hey, we managed to dodge the rocks. That's nice. Um, yeah, we're just going to do one layer of walls at the moment. Okay. Some of those ended up in different places, whatever. Um, because I don't even think we have the walls that we need to get this defensive pattern all the way to the other coastline. Um, so that's going to be super cool. Uh, maybe we maybe we clip this out uh, because it's going to be like this is what this is going to look like for the next couple of minutes um, as we just kind of push this over to the other cliffs. Hopefully we have we probably should have enough stuff of everything except walls and yeah maybe we cut it back in if we end up having to do some kind of improvised defense as we intercept another attack but otherwise yeah we're going to be we're going to be building flamethrowers for a bit uh yeah jumping to here we are still building this thing uh, we've also still got all these guys running at us so this is kind of exactly the spicy situation that we were worried about having and yeah that guy is also toast it's fine we can move on we've nearly i mean have we nearly got the rest of this wall built i think we've done like meeting an attack just there as we were building the rest of this thing. Oh, we've missed some pipes. Um, was exactly the thing I was kind of worried about, but we now have, again, mostly one thickness wall, because we don't, do we even have enough? I hope we have enough to get to, yeah, we've got enough to get to the coast. Um, but like one layer thick, which is not an amount of flamethrower that anyone is particularly happy with, but also here we need to be closer anyway, because... Um, because these kind of, yeah, these, these kind of edge sections where we're pushing up against, um, some, some coastline are where the flamethrowers are usually weakest because we'll get a lot more stuff rolling in around the coast. Um, so this, actually, let's put another one on the corner. Um, we have, we have enough flamethrowers. We have automated flamethrowers, so we've got a lot of flamethrowers. Um, and then we've got another 120 wall. Uh, we will definitely need additional protection in a lot of places so we're just going to throw this out now we need to come back for it anyway um, and then oh hey a lot of these are also just injured um cool never mind and yeah somehow at some point we have to pull all of these things up as well um should we actually move i think we should i think we should go back to the normal toolbar like i don't know that we're going to get much value from yellow bullets at all yet especially as the extra research we'd have to do to make them relevant to kind of the, the kind of biters we're seeing at the moment like that research is even further away oh well uh, but we do have a lot of solar panels all the other power grid stuff we haven't got around to putting down yet um yeah we've got a lot of flamethrowers uh we just need to get we need to be defending with flamethrowers in kind of all positions because these guys are also yeah so it's it's pretty rough these are still the nests that we are predominantly predominantly polluting which is um, going to be how that continues because we're going to build more stuff over here now because we have all the patches that we need um i think i automated i think i automated walls here again between episodes because we needed a lot more of it um but now it's just down to mauling a whole bunch more stuff in fact i think i'm going to see if i can quite cheekily maul some of that now before returning to put the additional layers of wall on that other stuff um yeah we've got yellow bullets actually having said yellow bullets are kind of useless we're now going to i guess get rid of get rid of these to the extent that we can um i mean we can this this whole converting them into rail is pretty nice um Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, we've got some walls here. We've got some pistols over here. Uh, we still want to automate more things. In fact, there's a bunch of automation that we want to do here because we're here. Why not? Uh, where do we start? What do we... Okay, yeah, red ammo is going to be the thing we want to attack with next. Um, inserters? Oh, yeah. Inserters go into red ammo, which is super normal. Um, coal and iron sticks we've got right here. I think this is... I don't know that we need to do anything else with splitters. So, I mean, could we even, could we even do this and not have splitters on this belt at all? That is a thing I think I'm enjoying, but then this one needs to move and this one needs to go like that. Uh, sure. Sure. 
that's actually going to line up surprisingly well, isn't it? Um, yeah, so now we've got... I oh know this, this has missed. Needs to be... Yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, but unless we just have a little bit of belt there. Um, yeah, it's slightly off. But we could move the outputs up by... Oh, we, could, we can very easily move the outputs up by... We cannot move the outputs up by one. Okay, so whatever. Um, but also that means this belt is free, which means we can now put inserters on this belt, which is also made of iron plate and sticks. And, and so the iron plate we've got some source of over here. Um, that was that was also the only other thing we needed. So we can have basically a full belt. Yeah, if we get... Did we have... Yeah, we had coils here. Are there multiple things that needed coils? Because other things we wanted to implement here needed pipe and stone and coal and these maybe we're just only ever handcrafting um yeah that's the other reasons why we want the belt uh also copper cable for train stops and then also pistols which were oh yeah super annoying because they're over here can we just wedge that in here then copper cable pistols yes to both of those radars radars were complicated um, okay, so maybe we can have these coils, except they're on the wrong side of the belt. Let's throw this here and here. And now we've got copper cables and pistols on the same side of the belt. And if we extend this past, then half of the pistols are going to... Okay, so this insert is going to grab some some of the okay let's do that differently let's just roll this past like so maybe we get some pistols past this maybe we don't maybe we've got a pistol in our infantry how do we make flamethrower ammo okay so just other reasons to definitely be getting onto automating red ammo and then the other things we wanted are yeah there's just a lot of random different stuff in here because we need to get all that online as well cool um okay We'd, we needed stone. I think stone we're also just going to branch like here. Because why not? Um, where would these need to go? If we're going to set these back, should have conserved the recipes. Um, not that ammo, this ammo. And inserters. And then we can have like a belt here. And we want it. Yeah, do you guys need... You guys don't need stone, but there was something else that did need stone. It was the tier 2 ammo. Not tier 2 ammo, tier 2 belts. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to figure out how we line up all of these various belts, because I think we want the inserters to be down this side, of which these inserters are super fast, but we are going to be limited by craft speed. Okay, sure. Um... We had two more belts of things to put in here. I don't remember what they were. Oh yeah, it was, it was coils and pistols and stone, uh, because this should let us have several of coal iron sticks. Are these fast or not? Six seconds. Yeah. Um. That's maybe we don't do. I was gonna say maybe we don't do five of them. Maybe we're gonna do four. So that's actually the four we wanted. And then we also need. Do you need much iron plate? You, in fact, need mostly iron plate. Ah, uh, cool. Do we have fast inserters yet? No, because we need... Yeah, okay, reasons why we don't have fast inserters are also just the same kind of... Yeah, these are all the things we're kind of thinking about implementing at the moment. Um, yeah, we don't have fast inserters because we need to get the circuit condition tech. Um, because, you know, that's how... That's how things work when we have randomizer mods. Um, okay, so it was in one of the spots that we did put double wall. So we're going to continue to ignore that, even though it feels pretty bad. Um, where are we putting... How are we getting... Oh, we're putting on the other side of this line? Yes. So inserters go out over there, and then... We're going to want all of this stuff... 
like so. Wait, did and so does need coal? And so does did not need coal. Those four belts don't matter. Um, and so does did need poles. And then you also needed something in there? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so now we have some source of inserters, and then we also just, I think we just do a lot of this stuff. Nah, we'll just, we'll just have four boxes of this stuff. We are probably using this for a while. We are likely to have a lot more combat to do. Um, so we do that. Um, yeah, then we had stone and coal in the inventory. Didn't we have? Oh, we got some of the belt the wrong way. Because we were thinking about getting the iron in here somehow as well. Um, okay, so. This is going to be red belt. The locomotives were made from red belt and red undergrounds, but also regular transport belt, which is copper ore. How can we get the copper ore in here as well? Maybe we don't... We could put the copper ore on the inside of the copper coils belt, but then we need yet another belt for pistols. Do we really need a whole... Whatever. Do we even need a whole... belt of stone. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Um, this is going to need to go underground so it doesn't like crash into the other things. Fine. And yeah, is this is this going to be... This is just one, but it is super fast. We are not really going to be belt input limited there. Okay, fine. Um, you guys are not getting inserters because you're not getting... Because you're not getting poles. The, yeah, that was a thing that we knew about, of which we lined things up badly, but whatever. Um, and now we are, yeah, slowly getting poles. Um, we are not getting poles. The inserters can't be this far. We have messed that up slightly. We need, we need poles to be on the belt before... Yeah, we need poles to be on the belt before we can use them to make inserters, so... I guess these things don't exist, and then I guess we're just going to put more of this down here and feel kind of bad about it. Pretty normal. Um, and then iron plate, which is here. I uh, guess yeah, so this has got to be in a different space, whatever. Um, yeah, things that we're just going to like make a mess about and feel better, feel better about later. I don't know that we do feel better about later. I think we just continue to feel worse about it later. Um, I don't want any of this on my hotbar anymore. Can we turn this into more rails? Um, can we just yeah this one down here we're going to get rid of all of the ammo for the, from the inventory um, be using red ammo because we're going to need red ammo how many of these are we making? two stacks I don't think we need two stacks in each of two chests of that um, but never mind uh, you guys are getting everything you need except inserters of which you guys need the plate of which we are, yeah, kind of insert limited. So I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, fine. Um, other things, what other things can we automate? We wanted... Why are we not getting... Oh, because we took the... Yeah, okay, sure. Reasons that are understandable. Um, okay, one kind of belt. Then we need... I mean, we can put that... Yeah, because we've got to get regular belt here as well. Because... These guys needed the transport belt, um, of which I have currently have a lot. So, oh well. Um, pipes are made out of stone and then also plate, uh, which we can actually do. I, uh, we can have. I mean, don't we already have? We have pipes over here and plate. I think we make these ones like over here somewhere, because we can get this iron plate in. Uh, underground belts. How many of, of each of these things do you need? A lot. You need a lot of each of them. Interesting. Are you going to come up here? Maybe not that far. Uh, these guys, you get one of these inserters, you get two of these inserters, because those are the sorts of things you are likely to be blocked on. 
And then, yeah, we're just going to have another belt of... I think we're going to be doing... I was thinking when I saw this recipe for red belt, I was thinking, yeah, we're going to do a lot with red belt because this is super cheap. Um, but also doing a lot with red belt. This is kind of expensive. We're probably still doing a lot with red belt though. Okay, so red belt automated um, regular belt. It's made out of what again? Copper and coal. Um, copper. Uh... Coal he is, is the thing that I meant to say and then didn't. Um, I think we're just going through here. We do this. We add a splitter. Ah, uh, that's, that's fine. Can we move? Yeah, we can move this one over here. So that we can go a little more underground. I don't think... Do I even want... I've got belt in a different place here. I don't think I necessarily need all of that. The thing we're trying to... Yeah, the thing we're trying to have is these engines, and then we want... Can we just put belt here? Will that work? Maybe? Is this going to be... Yeah, this is going to have to sit in a different place, isn't it? It's going to have to sit, like, here if we want to do this kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, we're making a bunch of undergrounds. Um, we can have four stacks of undergrounds. This here is going to be regular belt that we are just going to stack into this inserter. Not really... I guess we can... We can box it here. Having some of it here isn't going to hurt... Uh, and then these we are going to need like we are going to be doing a lot of stuff with trains because we're we going to have a lot of materials to move around and um, this is this setup is terrible because we need to be able to get the coal in here as well but maybe we just make it's not many is it? it's one of each it's one of each into two transport belts so this is actually going to be kind of insert limited here uh, but whatever Okay, um, so we have automated, in theory, um, yeah, we're getting belts here, we just hand-fed some belts, all of this is, you know, fine enough, we are making, these wagons are super fast, okay, yeah, they're all, they're all input limited, and yeah, we are seeing some flashing light stuff happening over in a place that we weren't necessarily expecting, so let's just go and deal with this, yeah, I think this, this is also some of the copper automation we added in between uh, to get the walls online, but also why are we getting attacked there? That's a weird spot. Oh, is it one of these bases that's coming around this water to attack me in the like the high pollution area? Maybe. I mean, it's also a decent chance that someone's sneaking in through. He but they'd go into this mining, wouldn't they? Who knows? Um. Oh yeah, we need to deal with that as well. Um. Cool. So I guess we're just leaving that here. Um. To yeah, I think we're gonna have. I'm gonna go back and deal with. Do we, do we have some? No, I put defenses over here. I didn't actually put defenses in here. And then we moved the defenses up. But they have slipped past. Um, cool. So I'm going to run back and deal with these guys. Put a little pillbox around here. Uh, that's going to be some boring walking time. So we're going to cut that out. See you in a bit. Yeah, so this nasty little section is is kind of working well enough. Um, yeah, I guess that's a, a nice little microcosm of why we really want to get onto this train stuff. Because we have quite a wide base and we're getting pulled in a bunch of different directions and just like yeah running all the way in one direction in just to come all the way back to go and finish implementing the rest of this stuff that we want is is not super great but we do have the ability to make these locomotives now because they need iron chests and Iron chests, we, yeah, we've got an iron source here for iron chests. Iron chests are actually made from iron. This is still just, yeah, walls fine. Need to worry about that soon as well. Um, one of those guys are on the wrong side of the thing. It's fine. Why are you not, why are you guys not, are you just not, yeah, it's the rate at which we are pulling iron in. Um, yeah, insert our upgrade, which we need to do, which we're not going to, never mind. Um, how do we make these things? Repair packs were also stone, weren't they? Um... Yeah, so I think that's going to be... 
Okay, let's let's have a look at all of the things we want to automate here because we want locomotives for which we want medium electric power poles. I think we're going to hand feed the grenades, which means that the other thing I just said was repair packs, which are also just stone and pipe. Uh, so we could even just direct feed stone into pipe into these repair packs into uh, the medium poles, which are also just stone. Yeah, so we're going to use medium poles for probably a bunch of stuff going forwards um, because it turns out they're pretty easy to make. Uh, poles into... Po poles, pipes. Pipes into repair packs into medium power poles is going to be quite a useful thing to have. We've only got the other kind of inserter left. Have I? Yeah, we haven't. We have we haven't automated the other kind of inserter here. I just don't have any of them on me. Um, and to repair packs into medium power poles. Um, and then I guess we are grabbing some inserters here and then just doing kind of a box feed thing for the grenades because the grenades are not super straightforward. Are they iron ore and iron plate? I mean, places we can put them. Do we want more grenades here? We probably do. Um, this was supposed to be repair packs. Uh, yeah, so... You guys have all the stuff you need to go quickly. What are we losing? We're losing gun turrets? Oh, we're losing gun turrets over here. Yeah, fine. Because we need to go over there and get that stuff done as well. Not a surprise. Okay, so this is... This is making poles, pipes, pipes pretty fast. We do need a lot of pipes. Okay, so we don't actually need these two here. Should we also have... I don't know that we're boxing those pipes anywhere, are we? I think we probably also have some boxes of these things here, but not a whole lot, uh, because we don't really need them. What we need is uh, to keep some of our grenades. Uh, who needs... Yeah, but then these medium power poles, we can use them for a lot of stuff. And then we need stone furnaces, which are coal and iron boxes. Yeah, so if we do... Uh, this is not quite going to fit in the way that we want it, is it? Maybe we can do... Yeah, that there's going to be fine. Um, over here, we wanted iron boxes, which is probably a thing we want to automate over here in area, which was because uh, they're super useful, but we haven't yet. And then stone furnaces, which comes from sticks, which we've also just got. So that's fine. Um, these guys are going to, yeah, we're going to offset this by one so that we can have the belt through here and these guys taking everything they need from the iron belt that doesn't exist, exist yet, but will. And then how do we get... Uh, okay, I guess we just, yeah, we just do a thing like so. That's going to do everything it needs to, isn't it? Um, I think maybe, I think we should connect up some of those belts and see what it actually does. Like, we need some of this stuff. We need some of these undergrounds. I don't want any of the stone. Uh, yeah, this, this belt here is this iron feed which we want you are getting the poles which you need maybe we should have some more yeah whatever we're not going to worry about doing other stuff yet um yes poles uh nope that was incorrect we need these inserters to be here uh, and so give me give me these back boxes here and here. Let's not have too many of these. We don't really need a whole lot. Um, what else did you need? That was, that was in fact, everything you needed. So at this point, we should have um, automated all the things we need. How many, how many things? 13 things? One second? Yeah, whatever. Um, we're going to need a bunch of these, but not a whole lot of these. Okay, so uh, we have automated all the things we need to drag a lot of helpful stuff back to uh, the base, which is which is nice. Get some of the stuff out of my inventory. Um, and then you are just being consumed. Yeah, you're, that, that's fine. Things we are okay with. Okay, because um, I think the next thing we wanted to do was, like, we've got a whole lot of iron here, and we've got... A decent stone source here. We've got some other stone over here. We've got kind of, 
I guess over here there's space for some rail stations. I want to put underground pipes on a train uh, because we are still just like a bit short of underground pipes relative to how many we could be pushing in to get all of this green science running, which we do have the lab space for. Um, so let's go and do something like that. Do we need... Are we going to need more assemblers and more inserters and more of everything, aren't we? And all of the stuff is going to be a mess to handcraft, which means I think we just do another little segue. Yeah, things, things that we are sad about include... Do you have anything yet? Why do you not have... Because you just need... Because you guys are actually going on the same piece of the belt. I thought I was going to get that on opposite sides of the belt. It didn't work out that way, but now it will. Okay, so now we can have some number of locomotives, which is going to be nice. Because we don't have cars yet, and we're a long way from having cars. Uh, but I can at least, if we can get... Uh, where did it get down here? Yeah, pieces of wall getting destroyed, not great. Um, in fact, give me all the wall, because now we can do some of this quite a bit better yeah um where are we where are we getting rail through are we putting rail here i do want to be able to get like some kind of rail network going in fact do i have coal now i can have coal okay fine um yeah we're gonna build some rail down here we're gonna build some rail across the front uh we've got We've got some wall. Yeah, that's... Okay, so we're not going to be doing... We're going to have rail through here somewhere. Like so. Actually, this bit I could be doing faster. I could actually be in the locomotive doing this. Never mind. Um, can we sneak... We can actually sneak this through this gap. So yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of scenic rail. Because we don't have the bots to build the... Uh, yeah, where are the... Yeah, here are the bullets. Took them off the hot barn, then didn't actually have any of them. So that's cool. Yeah, reasons why we need more than one piece of wall in all these locations. Um, rescued that flamethrower, which is nice. Didn't rescue this flamethrower, which is less nice. Uh, yeah, we just need more, more wall. We're just going to fortify all of this a little bit more because we're going to need it, and we're also going to drop a rail line, I guess, behind where these cliffs are, because we want to be able to get from point A to point B pretty fast, in a way that we will currently struggle to. And there's also a gun tote back on the ground. I'm kind of part just clearing out my inventory when we're doing this. Um, do we even... We do have... We do have the automation, don't we? We have train automation. Um, do I have... We do not. Okay, make make a bunch of those poles. Sure, whatever. Um, and then if I'm picking up stone, also just keep making repair packs because they're going to be useful. Um, somewhere over here, there's a gun. There's a gun. Yeah, so we're going to work on having kind of some way to at least be able to drive to these various different defensive positions quickly, even if it's kind of ugly. And then I think tech-wise... Uh, yeah, we're getting the circuit network so we can build fast inserters. We're getting the rail segment so we can have more than one train without them destroying themselves. And then I think... There are two things I'm thinking about. Uh, okay, so the, the obvious big one is chemical science, but we're a long way from that. The first one is efficiency modules, and the second one is cliff explosives. Both of those are going to be super useful. I think we go efficiency module... Okay, we work towards efficiency module... Uh, modules, efficiency modules, and then we work towards cliff explosives. And when we get all, when yeah, when we get the pair of those ones, we'll be pretty happy. Um, I think we're going to have like a little cut section here while I just dump a bunch of this extra stone out and then probably also run this defensive position like significantly further over to the east as well here we've only got yeah one thick wall so we need to go and deal with that but this is at least you know a reasonably stable defensive position sure yeah let's go and build a bunch more stuff we'll come back
I guess we'll leave this bit in the video. Um, yeah, we're just going to build this bit a bit faster. Sure. Now, now we can get to the, this. Is, this is the stuff we want to be doing. Yeah, fine. Yeah, so this is a spot to be in. Uh, we've got a locomotive. We've done a bit of a bit of wall stuff. I mean, there's this not being completely fixed is you know kind of bad, but whatever. It's more about being able to get to places easily than it is about to automate stuff. Um, so yeah, we're still just trying to dodge these cliffs, I guess. And I guess we're just going to yeah, okay, that one was bad. I'm trying to figure out how to just have like a kind of personal rail line, but I mean, I also say that. Um, understanding that this temporary thing is going to just stay the way it is and then be the initial rail plan. Um, so I guess, where do we want to even... We want to be able to get this rail over here. I don't want to put rail on... I guess I could put... I could put... Oh no, there's um the underground's in the way. We can't actually just run a personal rail stop all the way back there. We could get a rail stop in here maybe, but that means we're going kind of around the outside of the patches. Let's just try and get to let's just try and get to that radar as a, a place that we can have I mean that we'll also absolutely need to get other rail later, but this will a couple more there. Yeah, that looks about right. Um yeah this will absolutely be a thing that we will use to get from place to place a whole lot faster which is going to be pretty important. Especially as we still don't have a car. Um, and then we did actually want to cross through to the other side of those these things, didn't we? Whatever. Sure. So let's send a bunch of this stuff underground. Things that could also be on a train, but aren't. And we are at least going to have yeah, a somewhat faster way of getting from place to place, which is going to be a thing that we like a lot. Uh, I need to dodge these cliffs as well. Uh, do we want to go? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is where the radar is. That we said, hey, if we can get to that radar. Um, hey, here's a radar. So now we've got a way of, of getting from one place to the other reasonably quickly. Here, yeah, a lot of this stuff is all just running down. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to get a train of iron back here as well. How many of these, like, how many of these are actually running at the moment is an important question. Um, and it looks like not many at all. I mean, still still a decent rate of iron, but, I mean, I guess there's two things we want to do here, isn't there? We want to bring, we want to bring back a train of iron ore, but also, okay, we're going to do several things here. Um, in there, why not? Uh, yeah, bring back a train of iron ore to, to sort of support this, but also most of the iron ore is just getting turned into gear wheels for underground pipe for green science anyway. So if we get a, a train of... Let's just make a bunch of this stuff, whatever. If we get a train... Hey, we can make more poles. Sure, fine. If we get a train of stuff going through... Um, like, I think I want... Yeah, other reasons why we want cliff explosives. Like, we want to be able to get all of these cliffs out the way so we can have more stable train lines and things. We want to be able to get a lot of these weird cliffs out the way so that we can put a whole lot of solar power in a bunch of places. And then we also want to get these cliffs out the way because... Like, I don't think we're putting train stations here. I think that would be silly. But I think we want to put train stations here which means that a lot of these cliffs have to go so that we can get the underground pipes in that we deserve. Um, yeah, that's that's those guys are going to continue to get attacked out there, and then we also don't have the, the burner inserters. Oh, well, whatever. We'll deal with that later as well. Yeah, um, I'm going to pick up a bunch of stuff over here, and then we're going to drive, um, maybe even dragging some rail um, back down here where we can start to put some more underground belts on. Yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of a mall run. Yeah, so this looks like a spot that we're collecting a whole pile of iron that we're not necessarily doing anything with it, uh, which was definitely the plan to be doing something with it, because we knew we wanted uh, more underground pipes. So I just guess we're just going to, you know, go and do that. I think we could also... Can we... Can we figure out how to get all of these on a red belt? If we just turn this the other way, then... Yeah, then we can just start doing things on Red Belt, because we have Red Belt now. That's going to make uh, the spaghetti a different quality, I guess. Uh, 
yeah, we kind of really want it up one, don't we? We could have done that different ways, never mind. Um, yeah, because we can go underground here, we can go... This is not going to be lane balanced, I don't think I mind. I don't think that's going to be a huge deal at the moment anyway. Uh, and then probably we should push this into the mall? I don't actually think it matters. I don't think we bother about that at all, because we're going to make a bunch of underground pipe. Oh yeah, notes of things we were going to implement. We've made walls, we've made flamethrowers, we've made red ammo, we've picked up some red ammo, uh, we've made both kinds of locomotive, and um, we are now working on making the underground pipe, uh, which is going to go... I guess it's going to go here? Why not? I don't really have a good reason for it to not go here. We're already making a pile of mess. Um, so let's just run... This one here, uh, we've got a lot of... If we're doing this with long-handed inserters, which we are, these two red belts could just go right next to each other. That's probably going to be more than we need, because um, all we want to do here is convert all this into gear wheels. Uh, uh, gear wheels, gear, gear, gear wheels. Oh, do barrels actually... Are barrels made from the same thing as you... Where did empty barrels go? Empty barrels, piece of steel. Um, okay, so some of them is, are the same. That's a thing that can happen. Um, yeah, let's do... Let's do a pattern like this that will eventually drain all of these belts. And then I think we need... How many of these assemblers do we want? It was eight for one yellow belt. So probably we want to do, say, 16 or so, I guess. Uh, and this, this is, is this all going to fit? It's three to one, but we don't really have two yellow belts here because some of it is going in the other direction anyway. So I reckon one full belt of gear wheels is pretty much all we're going to expect here. I have no idea if those ratios are uh, good or not. Hey, we've got some coal here as well, so that's... Maybe we want some coal later. Uh, okay, maybe maybe we also just jump this coal underneath with a different kind of... Okay, that makes... makes yeah, we're not going to worry about that at all yet. We'll deal with that later if we need to. Uh, most of all, we just want to get... Uh, yeah, we missed... We missed some of those copies, but never mind. Um, do we have enough inserters at this point? No, that's going to be mildly annoying, but hey. Uh, all, actually, the thing we should do is figure out how we make fast inserters. And um, because we know we made fast inserters from red wire and a pile of other stuff, how do we make... Iron plate and pipe makes us red wire, and then copper and rail make us green wire. Okay, maybe this is a map on which we're doing a bunch of red wire stuff. I kind of want to go back and all figure out, because this should be pretty easy to automate here, right? Um, we've got some iron there, we've got some... So up here... I... Can we do this differently? If we put a splitter here, then we could have... Ah, that's not going to work there, is it? It's going to be silly. Oh, wait, we've got um, we've got bigger poles now. It's fine. Things are fine. So now we can have... We can have pipes in here, and then we can have this thing continue. And we can have... What are we looking at? Red wire, pipes, and iron. Um, This iron can actually run closer down here because we don't need that space for anything anyway which means that it still doesn't quite work unlucky um yeah, and then what else did fast inserters need stone brick stone furnaces we've got stone brick here we had stone furnaces over there i don't really think i want to be spaghettiing this through um but I think we are still going to go red wire into fast inserters. And I think maybe we just... I think maybe we just bring... Okay, we're going to move all that back. So we've got a little more space to play with. Um, yeah. 
some fast inserter automation would be nice. And then how are we getting... Have we put that a little bit... I think if... Yeah, we're going to go one, back one further. Because this lets us get... Piece of wall. It's fine. Uh, red wire here. That's going to work more or less. Um, does this give us one or two pieces of red wire? One piece of red wire. Okay. Um, then... Okay, so I guess we are doing a long and short handed inserter thing because i also want a box of this stuff so we can start doing circuit conditions um but also now we need more long-handed inserters which take copper ore so i guess we're just going to be crafting a bunch of those um can we not handcraft pipes or gears where are the gears over here something like that whatever fine um yeah because then we also needed you needed stone brick which is a thing we've got here did you need much stone brick? Is it just one of each of these things? It's two... It's two stone bricks. So we're going to go like so. Uh, you are now just automating. Yes. Which means we can actually limit this to a helpful amount of red wire. You're getting your red wire. You also needed... That's right. That's why we weren't putting both of those there. We were going to have... I guess we can do this in different ways as well. Um, you just have a bunch of furnaces. Because now we have... Yeah, done this particularly the nasty hack uh, to get some amount of fast inserters out. Um, so some hand delivery of some things, uh, you know, oh well. But we do now, have, do now have fast inserters, which is also going to be a thing we're going to want if we're doing train stuff. Um, so, so yeah, so I cleaned, I cleaned some of the power grid out of my inventory. We've got a lot, so much solar that we can just put somewhere and be fine with that. Um, yeah, that's fine. These these guys have all got enough walls that we're going to have to revisit, but not a super big concern. Okay, so now we have... Now we need some stone from somewhere. Uh, maybe we could take this stone, except I kind of want a full belt of stone to make gears out of these... To make... Yeah, to not make gears, to make pipes out of those gears, because that's how those processes work here. So, yeah, we're just going to grab another lane of stone, because, you know, why not? Um, do we have... We do have enough undergrounds at this point to be doing the high-density version of this, which is nice. Yeah, I think we try and get... I think we try and get some more underground... Where is it going to go if it's... If I insert that one in so it hits the other side, it's going to go, like, here, isn't it? Um, is that actually the correct number? 12. We're a little bit short. That's okay, we've got more down here. Yeah, I think if we can get... I think if we can get underground pipe on a train back into the other base, then I think we will be happy for having done some useful things uh, this episode. Because, I mean, there's still there's still a whole lot of tech to do. Oh, well. Um, these were, yeah, these were super fast. These are going to need... It's And it's slightly more gears than stone. So I reckon we go... Double inserter in on both sides. Belt of stone here. Output belt in here and we're gonna need yeah more stuff but i think that is going to be the plan to do we have where do we want train stations there's a bit more space up here isn't there there's not really a whole lot of space anyway we could also have train stations in here do i like that more i don't really yeah, i think we're gonna put train stations in here i don't really like any of those options um but yeah let's let's copy and paste to build and Worry about not having enough long-handed inserters. Let's do this differently. Let's have power pole here, output inserter here. This belt runs the other way, and this is going to be... I don't know how many of these we need. We need some number of them. It's probably fine. And then, yeah. Uh, I think we... yeah. It, 
because I also want to figure out where this belt would go. We have dodged the other iron, which is nice, more or less. And then, yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to finish that building and get some more inserters, get some stuff, and then think about putting a rail station in here. Yeah, definitely some kind of progress. We're now in the very exciting position of having a nice little autosave completed that build. Uh, we've got a belt of stuff that we want to put on a train. We've got a space here. We're going to put a train station, I think. Uh, do we even care about that little bit of iron ore? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Um, let's figure out where this can go. Can we just have a train station like here? I think we can. Um, and yeah, we also got together the things to handcraft, because of course we're going to handcraft the first couple of these. We definitely need to automate these, um, but also we worry about that later. I also just want to get this stuff kind of running. Um, the question is though, how do we get these trains out of here? If we're having a couple of train stations, I guess we run them, we could run them up there. We kind of left a bit of space for that, I guess. I guess that's a thing that could happen. Yeah, here's, here's going to be an output like how the trains get out of these collections of stations, which also means that here we need to be jumping this underground because we're going to have more train stations. We're going to tolerate more train stations there. I don't know if we're going to have more train stations there. Um, but then subsequent questions being like, what? how are we going to set up these trains? What? What? How many locomotives are we going to have? How many wagons are we going to have? I think we're going to go with two and four because i don't know that that is a number of trains that i've done a, yeah i don't know that i've used that combination a lot and it sounds like you know they might go fast and hit me and that's probably fine i think the thing we're also going to do is yeah we don't need we don't need those at all do we we we're just going to put this on a train we're not going to even worry about balancing this because we're only ever making... Can you slide to the side one and power everything? Yeah. We're only ever making half a lane of pipe at most. Because that's the amount of... Actually, less than that. It's, gonna, it's a third of a lane, isn't it? Because we're putting in a whole belt of stone. Uh, and five stone make two pipe to ground. So we're getting out less than a half lane of pipe and I just don't think that's going to fill up particularly quickly and I think the plan here is going to be um, yeah continuing to lose stuff that's fine we'll just run these trains full to empty we'll have another train we'll have space for another train here yeah reasons why we want cliff explosives and then when this train fills up the next one can just pull in this one can go somewhere else uh, we'll have these kind of double train stations once we get the signals that we don't have yet um so do we want to go automate some more things? I think there are, I mean, there are still th more things we want to automate, aren't there? Um, but that is, do I have, oh yeah, I've got a lot of these. Um, yeah, just, just like fill up those trains with stuff. Um, and yeah, then we'll have, we need to get the rail back here somehow to unload this. And I think at the moment we just have to get rid of this thing and run this train station in here because there's not really space we've made a bit of a mess of that spot um is there any and then these guys are all maybe they're all running maybe they're not all running maybe we need maybe we do need more assemblers on gear wheels because we're not using all of that iron and we don't have gear wheels down here um this might also just be because the gear wheels are yeah, one second instead of half a second. So, slap in some more of the stuff. Don't really worry about it. Decide, discover that we need more. Yeah, that, that's a thing we'll do. Is it a thing we'll do in between? It's not, is it? It's a thing we can just do differently now. Um, because we have a fast inserters now. So we can just do that. And then here, just go double fast inserter. There we go. We we solved a thing. We made We made it better. Uh, we fixed some problems, we can now have more gear wheels. Yeah, sure, and then I've also got gear wheels that I guess you guys can have. Um, okay, so we're making more stuff, we want to get that on a belt. We're just going to wander back over to... Yeah, did I want steam engines as well? Oh, I did want I did want iron ore on a train, that is another thing that I wanted. Okay, so uh, we've got a whole lot of that, that's fine. Uh, we, yeah, we do continue to want belts, even though we don't need it yet. Um, give me more of these, give me more of these. We need to worry about fueling these trains as well. Fast inserters, I forget where fast inserters were, over here somewhere. We did need to take them, 
we do need to hand carry this section, which feels pretty bad. But now we have fast inserters, so that's nice. Uh, we don't have any long-handed inserters over here, which is a bit of a shame. Um, those guys will go and repair at some point later, not even worrying about it yet. But yeah, reasons why, reasons why it was pretty important to get that wall in before we started building this because we are going to have like a train station here and then where can the next one go not quite i mean nearly there but not quite there maybe maybe here but then we need to bounce all of these as well um because because we also want a train station that will receive iron well that will have iron ore because we've got some of that here as well like we're surrounded by you know a pleasant amount of iron ore that we can do something with and the question is do we just do we even attempt to buffer here and i think the answer to that is probably no i think we also just do the same thing although if we had if these guys were medium-sized poles then we could yeah, I think that's going to be a plan, isn't it? Then we can have, like, two belts of stuff going in. Uh, yeah, sure. So we can have a belt of stuff here, we can have a belt of stuff here. Um, this is not going to be... Oh, this is, yeah, because we're doing five per thing instead of six per thing. Okay. Um, the other side of that we'll worry about later. Uh, getting these guys fuel is also a thing that we're going to worry about later rather than now. Is that gonna fit? Yes, but actually this also wants to continue. And we also still don't have the signal, so running both of these is gonna be sketch. Uh, but, what, how much is... Oh, we, we picked up the station as well, which we didn't want. Um, yeah, we don't need those power poles there. Um, we can have another station. Mostly I wanted to figure out how we were getting this iron ore in, because that's the next thing we're going to do. Um, hopefully not in a silly way. Probably, no, actually, that's not true at all. Definitely in a silly way. Um, like, we could... We could also be upgrading these to red belt and running more through and having splitters. That's probably... I mean, probably just straight up what we should be doing instead of this nonsense. Uh, but we're doing this instead, because of course we are. Uh, yeah, and then we're just going to collect some of this stuff. Uh, that was silly. Like, we could worry a lot more about how many miners we've got on either side. Like, how many is this? Nine? So that's not working out. Um, let's, let's tap some more in here, because we can. Uh, do we want to... Yeah, let's, let's mine this as well. Uh, we also actually don't have, because we have three belts going in here and we're now using basically everything if we can get the craft speed going, we also don't have enough iron mining. Other reasons to be making sure that we got that good wall in. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to run... We're going to run out of stuff. Bit of, bit of a shame. Here, and then, like, here... Okay, um, do we want to upgrade that? I don't really want to upgrade that, but I mean, we could upgrade that belt. Most of us trying to figure out ways that we could get, like, free up some belt from my inventory, um, so that, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um, we've got... 10 on one side, which is not, not, so this is not a full belt. And then on the other side, we've got nine and yeah, so it's not a full belt of iron. It's fine. We're still going to start to be putting iron ore on a train, which is important. Uh, we need to figure out how to get more trains in here. I don't really want to do, oh, hey, this is, um, this is a thing that I like. Uh, yeah, sure. Are we going to worry about mining that iron? Not really, but what if we could do it 
easily and basically for free. So that's the thing we're going to do. This is, these guys aren't going to be there for very long. It's fine. Yeah, we've got to figure out how to get more trains. We've got to figure out how to, to get the trains that are returning back in here. Um, but I think the thing we're going to do is take this train, uh, put another train in its place. Oh, these guys are almost entirely out of ammo. Yeah. Um, there's still some bullets there. Hopefully they hold. That's another place where we need to push the... Yeah, we need to push the flamethrower wall over a bit more. But I'm also going to ignore it at the moment and hope that it's fine. Uh, we're going to wander back over here. We've got... Yeah, make sure we have enough rail. Uh, we also need just a couple more cargo wagons, of which we have many, so that's nice. And uh, fast inserters for unpacking more belts. Yeah, that's, I think, going to be most of what we need. And then we've got to try and figure out how to get these trains to where they're going. Um, also get back the other way to defend the other things. Yeah, I guess we'd get, we're just dealing with the belt backlog there. It's not actually... It's not actually insufficient mining. It's just belt backlog. And this is all going to be a little bit silly because we don't even have the chains. We don't have any kinds of signals yet. But also, this is mostly about making sure that this doesn't back up. Like, we always want to be having more than one train on this section. Uh, but, yeah, now how do we get... Uh, we ducking? We're not ducking through there. There's a ton of stuff in the way, and then also all that solar's kind of in the way, which means I think we're going to the left around here, and then around the solar and those cliffs, and back through here. Yeah. So let's see if we can make that work, and hopefully not too slowly, because we're also still like losing a bunch of stuff. Hopefully not too slowly, he said, and then decided to remove a bunch of hopefully now irrelevant defenses now that that flamethrower wall has gone in. Um, yeah, and then I guess we're going to go all as kind of as far as we can towards this stone patch to leave us enough space to do other things. Uh, because... It wasn't. That was actually not helpfully positioned at all. Um, here's where we're going. Uh, so yeah, so we can have we can have this space to try and process or move these things around. These things can also be like processed away from the space we're using. So reasons to be trying to allocate. I mean, we definitely want to be doing a, a city block kind of thing later probably but i think we're also just going to run out of space before then uh, especially in these kind of congested places where we are trying to build a lot of different things take the thing good um then where do we want to go over here uh can we even sneak we can uh can we sneak rail through here no okay so that's definitely the gap we want to hit, especially is that we can push that all the way down past this oil. Um, and so where are, yeah, that, that's going to be the direction we want to go. Uh, yeah, maybe that is actually us just losing the other position that we said we wanted to get this done first. Oh, well... I mean, we could also be grenading this stuff, but I think we're also kind of short on generally power poles at the moment. Um, yeah, this is this is also going to be one of the train lines that we can use to get from point A to point B quickly, regardless of where those actually are. Um, walls. As long as we don't see flamethrowers taking damage, we're fine. Like, we're fine losing a piece of wall because we've now got some redundancy on how many walls we have. And um, this is... Yeah, going okay. Because this might also be... Like, this train supply of stuff 
could potentially also be the resources yeah we haven't blocked any of those which is nice um the resources that get us up to 1. Point, not even 1. Point anything um 900 spm which the science build might be able to do depending on labs um and then a little bit here and then we want to go yeah we want to go over there Uh, you you get over here. Are we are we gonna try and turn this into not that this button? Are we gonna try and I don't know if even know if we're gonna try and turn this into a two way rail section. I think we might be doing a whole lot of chain signals again. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a mess. Yeah, then we want to put the station like basically there. And this thing has to get... Do we have? We do have inventory space. It has to get out of our way. Um, let's check how we make signals. Uh, copper cable and underground belt. I think that's going to be pretty straightforward. Engine unit and automation science packs. Um, both of these, like each of those two, we have in kind of the same place. The automation science packs and the engine, engine units are in the first mall right next to assemblers because assembler twos also take both of those ingredients uh so that's going to be like a nice convenient place are you taking that's no, fine um that's going to be a nice convenient place to build both of those things that would just mean that if we did signals in this mall and chain signals in this mall uh those things are kind of far apart but also we've got you know red belt only in one place we've got long-handed inserters only in one place as uh, this this is where we want to be um that that line in particular is not where we want to be though there that's going to be fine uh we have seven more pieces of underground belt which is why have we built up why have we built up steam engines are these buffers full no we don't have we don't have wall because oh yeah because we were boxing wall um because I did want a lot more wall. Okay, fine. Um, all of those are... I mean, that's kind of agreeable. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not where this train station is staying. In fact, this is already like not where I like with respect to like this thing. In fact, let's pull it back a bit so we can also have space for trains to leave. Yeah, that's gross. This is this is not how we're gonna like keep this going forwards. Um, but uh, actually, train limit train limit two because we do want a train to be behind this. Um, yeah, cool pipes for science. Uh, underground pipe icon. Uh, you want to go to pipes for science? Congratulations. Um, until empty cargo. And then we have, yeah, we have two places. Actually, we do want to, yeah, we need to run. We could add, we can put some of it on the belt here, but then also it's about two thirds of the way down that the bottom section will run out of pipes, which is 20. Yeah, it's actually here. Here's where we would need to add more underground pipes if we were going to do that, which is bit of a nuisance ah uh, yeah these guys are now seriously running low on ammo yeah we just need to continue this wall a little bit maybe even kill these guys except we don't know what's happening with this terrain it might just be easier to wall that stuff off um and then this is fine because we've got double wall everywhere yeah um so the first part of this is definitely just we're gonna have a section of belt here uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be fine And then this pattern can just unload all these pipes. And now we've got a half belt of pipes, and those pipes can just go here. And now we have boosted the green science, and that's going to do everything it needs to. And this can now consume a whole half belt of pipes, which is fine. And then I think the other thing we're just going to run. Yeah things that are going to continue to be a mess um this 
I think we just have to run it in the same... Do we run the belt in the same direction? Do we run the belt in the opposite direction? I think we're going to run the belt in the opposite direction. We're going to do... We're going to do it like this. Which is also going to suck. But also never mind. And then we do need... Okay, I guess we're doing a bit of this with red undergrounds. And then how are we going to get... Because the other place these, these pipes need to arrive is down here maybe we do it with multiple stations because we've already got to have some stations over here somewhere that bring more iron ore and so if we had another station here that was also underground pipe then that's going to be just easier to put here than it is to drag another belt from all the way over here so so i think that's what we're yeah we're gonna talk to myself out of doing this stuff at all okay not not talking myself out of doing all of this stuff like a lot of this nasty business is going to be how it's going to go. Um, unlucky for, you know, everyone. But that's not going to stay. I think we're going to call this... I think we're going to call this an episode because we have done some useful things. We've got... We've boosted the blue science by a bit. We've got a train line now. We've got a couple of train lines. We've got some flamethrower walls, which is good. Uh, we've got more stuff in this mall. Was there other stuff... Was there other stuff in this mall that I wanted that we didn't have? Ah, yes. We needed... And how do we build these? I can... This is all pretty straightforward. And something else to recycle all our yellow ammo into, uh, yellow ammo into which is nice. We'll just have some of those. Um, this one is a little more of a mess, but we do have... We do have all of that stuff around this mall as well. So we can just build refineries here. And then refineries will let us get some flamethrower ammo which is going to be important and and yeah just notice that we're handcrafting ammo while we've got stacks of ammo in the pistol um yeah never mind we definitely did some things uh we are still just working towards the things we want like the even even before blue science we kind of want to crank through all of this stuff and these are 40,000 20,000 30 10 20 40 40 so we've got about another like 150 200 000 science to go uh, without even thinking about blue science yet um but yeah there's going to be more to automate in the extra lab we've just kind of boosted green science we need to get the trains going back the other way as well yeah um i think mostly what we're going to do in between is throw a couple of these extra yeah we need to extend these walls we need to figure out where some more solar is going and i think it might be going kind of in here because there's a bit of a gap but also it's a gap that's difficult to use and and yeah just yeah also also here yeah locking that off going to be pretty important at this point um but yeah getting getting some things done working through some text i don't think the text stopped at any point but we also just need a ton of it